Hi everyone, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm here today to share a beautiful Christmas card idea that you can create with the help of your Big Shot. Our weather here outside is so miserable. It's cold and rainy and windy. A perfect time to do some indoor crafting. My Christmas card is going to be eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at the four and a quarter mark and this is real red. That's gonna be my card base and I'm actually gonna have it landscape for the layout. To that, I'm going to add a few pieces, bits and pieces and layers. So I'm gonna do that with the help of my Big Shot. I have a brand new Big Shot uh, combo with the thin die adapter. This thin die adapter actually comes with the Big Shot platform now. So if you buy a Big Shot, you'll get this combo already. And Stampin' Up! has a promotion for the month of December. It is the Stitched Shapes Framelits. They're really cool. You have circles, ovals, and squares. And what's really neat about them is that it kind of does this um, perforation look on the dies. So this, these dies are only available for the month of November. The good thing is that they're going to be offered in next year's annual catalog, which doesn't come out until June. So you can get this sort of beginning product now and play with them for several months before they become available in the next catalog. All right, so I have my platform with a thin die adapter. I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then I've got one of the circles from the stitched shapes. I'm gonna run that through the Big Shot and I'll show you how it looks. I'm not finished with my Big Shot. I'm gonna do a couple more things. There, look at that. Can you see the, the little like perforations around the outside? This is really nice because it's not super fancy, but it adds a nice, eye-catching detail to a simple circle die cut. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for now. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out some embellishments using this Christmas Stockings Thinlets dies. This is a really fun pack of thinlets because there's lots of fun little embellishments that come with each stocking. You can do a, you can stamp, it coordinates with the Hang Your Stocking stamp set or you can just use the thinlets themselves to die cut out solid colors, which is what I'm going to do next. So I've got the platform with the thin die adapter. I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock, and I'm gonna die cut this stocking out, but also this phrase, which says Noel. I'm gonna die cut both of those out at the same time and put them on the front of my card as well. Right, so same sandwich as I just previously used. Run it through. And now I'm finished with my big shot. Now this little snowflake embellishment, I'm going to keep, it popped out of the little stocking. So I'm gonna keep that and use that on the inside of the card to pull the outside and the inside together. And then, I'm going to pop out the Noel, very easy. Done with that, and then what I'm going to do is bring in my card base, and I'm going to have a layer of Whisper White on top, but before I adhere that down, I'm going to bring in some washi tape, and I'm going to run a piece of washi tape along the front of my card layer. Like so, and I'm just gonna curl that around. I've got some paper snips. Cut the washi tape off, although I could have just ripped it off. It's very easy to do. And there we go. That's going to be running across the front of my card layer. And now I can adhere it to the front of my card. If you like ideas like this, you'll want to follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my Pinterest account because I have lots of other card making ideas for you that you won't see on my videos. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my stitched framelits circle that I created. 
using those fun new products that you can buy now. So put that like so. And then for my stocking, I think I'm going to pop it off using the Stampin' Dimensional. Let's do it this way, like it's hanging by the fire. And then you can see that the white shows through, which is quite pretty. And then to attach the Noel, I am going to use my two-way glue pen. I'm sorry, it's not my two-way glue pen. It is my fine tip glue pen. And I'm just going to add a very fine trickle of glue because I don't want it to ooze out and land on my card front because if I do that, it actually dries with a little bit of a shine to it so it'll be quite noticeable. All right, so I'm going to run the Noel like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do, let me put the lid back on because this dries quite quickly. The last thing I'm going to do is I have some um, baker's twine. This is like a peppermint kind of baker's twine. And I went ahead and made a bow before the video began. So you wouldn't have to sit and watch me make the bow. And I'm going to cut it off the bolt. It's a great way to save and not waste. And then I'm going to bring in a mini glue dot. And I'm going to press the knot of the bow onto the mini glue dot, like so. Then peel it off. And then I'm going to attach it at the top, like so. Just encourage that to stay down a little bit. And there we go, a very quick and easy Christmas card idea that's fun to create with the help of your Big Shot. If you like this card idea, please don't forget to click the like underneath the video over on YouTube. I'm Terry, I'm nuts about stamping. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.